would have thought I'd catch something in there. <laughs> G'day folks. Today I just want to talk quickly about different lines, different fishing lines for trout fishing. In this day and age, there's been a boom in braided fishing line. Everybody loves braided line. I myself love braided line, particularly for cod fishing. When I'm trout fishing, I prefer to still use monofilament line. Now let me tell you why. With braided line, there is two main reasons. There's two main reasons to switch from monofilament to braid. One of them is that braid doesn't stretch, and that's fun, and that's great, because you feel the strikes a lot harder when a fish hits it. You can tell when your lure is felled up on a leaf or a bit of slime or something a lot easier, because you can feel every movement in the lure. That's why braid's better than mono. The other one is because it's thinner. You can use the same break weight line, four pound line, six pound line or whatever, with braided line as you can with mono and have line that's half the width or half the diameter, making it better to cast. Now, all that's great with Murray cod and golden perch fishing, but when I'm trout fishing, these are the problems I have. Braided line, as I stated, it doesn't stretch. Now, when you're fishing for a species of fish that jumps out of the water, shakes its head rapidly and tries to shake the hooks, sometimes it's beneficial to have the stretch in the line. Back when I did use braided line for trout fishing years ago, I found that I was dropping a lot of trout as they were jumping up and shaking their heads because that lack of stretch was just helping them get the hooks out of their mouth better. The stretch in monofilament helps absorb those head shakes. And as for the braided line being thinner, well, I'm only running four pound monofilament as it is. I can flick this from here with this one gram strike tiger jig head and I can land on the other side of that creek. I don't really need anything that's going to make me cast any better than that. So it's actually a disadvantage to have a line that doesn't stretch when I'm trout fishing. And I can't really cast any better than I, any more than I already do. I can't cast any better. I don't need to cast any better than I already do. What I did find when I was using braid is that it was prone to tangling, particularly around the rod tips, and also wind knots. When you do the big, long overhead casts, on a breezy, windy sort of a day, you get wind knots. And when you get a, a tangle or a knot in braided line, you've really got no other choice but to cut it. It's very, very, very hard and borderlining on impossible to untangle really fine braid that's not much thinner, not much thicker in diameter than cotton. Whereas the monofilament untangles a lot better. I don't need a leader. If you're, if you're using braided line, particularly in, in rocky areas such as this one here, where your lure is going to be coming over rocks, you don't want that braid running over them, locks and f them rocks sorry, and fraying. So you need to use a leader. If you're just using monofilament straight through, you don't need a leader. So there's, there's some good reasons why I prefer monofilament. And one other good reason is when I'm trawling for trout in lakes like Lake William Hovel or Lake Dartmouth, I find my favourite trout lure, the Tassie Devil, has a nice wide sway. The smaller Tassie Devils just will not swim properly with braided line because the line floats and they don't pull enough on the lure. They don't actually have a lot of resistance on the line, sorry. And because of the, they don't have that resistance and the line floats and it doesn't stretch, the Tassie Devil just tends to come straight through the water. The bigger ones will sway a little bit. I find the monofilament helps to get those Tassie Devils really working properly when I'm trawling for trout in lakes. So... That's my opinion. I know a lot of people won't agree with it, and that's fine, but my opinion is an educated opinion, and it's something that I have discovered over years of trout fishing, having used both and having spent countless thousands of hours up in the hills chasing streams, chasing trout in streams, sorry. Now, there is a place for a braided line, don't get me wrong. All of my cod and golden perch rods have braided line on them. I would not go cod fishing without braided line. I use 50-pound fins braid for my Murray cod fishing, and... If I was to use 50 pound monofilament line, I would never get my lures down deep enough. They wouldn't swing properly, their sway action would be terrible, and the lure wouldn't even get down half as deep. So the braided line is a must for that sort of work. Murray cod don't have the big rapid head shakes that the trout do. So they don't spit the hooks as easily, and they're usually using bigger hooks that hold in a lot better. But for trout fishing in these small streams, and even redfin fishing, I still use mono, and I'm not about to go back to braid anytime soon. I hope you found this video useful. Just understand that everybody has their own opinion and I'm only just helping people with my opinion. If you like braid, that's fine. Most of the people that I fish with still use braid and I'm not knocking anybody that uses braid. But for me personally, it's all about monofilament line and in particular Maxima Ultra Green. 
I started using this. My mate Matt Hancock put me onto this back when I was about 15 or 16. He started using it, so I did. And now here I am at 41. I've tried probably 20 different lines over the years and I've always gone back to the four pound Maxima Ultra Green. Can't beat it for trout fishing.